Hey, how are you doing? Um, I think the Japanese government has a tendency not to fulfill accountability about political decisions they make, oftentimes when it decides to enforce the bill. So I think that the relationship between the Japanese government and the Japanese people is pretty simil similar to the relationship between a child and parents. And a child is, a, is not allowed to go against a parent's and the child must obey what a parent says, honestly, without having any objections and questions about it. So there is a certain awareness shared by government high officials and governors uh, in the Japanese government that Japanese people don't understand the sublimity of political decisions they make. And the Japanese people must obey what uh, the Japanese government says and what the Japanese government decides without any complaints. So from the perspective of the Japanese government, it's like uh, we are your parents. We are your parents and you are our children. So you don't have to be worried about what we decide and what we do from now. So try not to poke your nose into adult affairs. So we always, we always take care of all of you in Japan as you can live easily with no worries. So please don't poke your nose into the political management in Japan or something like that. So basically awareness that the power of the government is parents and the Japanese people perfectly accept how the Japanese government manages the state without negative protests because the because they are prote protected by the Japanese government is deeply ingrained in Japan Japanese people's DNA. So there may be so many Japanese people who don't want to accept this fact and who want to deny this fact. But I think, I assume that Japanese people basically depend on uh, the Japanese government to a great extent. And they are afraid of you know, poking their nose into political management with their unique opinions. So uh, basically, the reason why the Japanese people is said to be the nation with low interest in politics is that they are strong, they have a strong awareness that they are taken care of by the Japanese government in their deep mind. So, so we don't have a, such a, uh, you know, we don't have such a protest, uh, harsh, uh, really, you know, active protest demonstration, which can be seen in China, Korea, and Western countries. So, and uh, in World War II, no accountability was fulfilled by the Japanese government to people, and even non-commissioned military officer about uh, attack on Pearl Harbor in Hawaii. And in World War II, no accountability was fulfilled by the Japanese government to people about why there are concentrative bombardments in Tokyo, one after another, from U.S. Army. And it didn't tell people accurate in the battle situation, battle, battle condition between the United States and Japan back in World War II. And when the great Earth uh, when the Great East Japan earthquake happened 10 years ago, uh, no accountability was fulfilled by the Japanese government to people about the fact that reactor core of the nuclear power plant in Fukushima was melted down. And the Japanese government purposely hid the fact of the reactor core meltdown uh, to prevent people from confusion then and because the Japanese government has the underlining thought that it is uh, it is too incomprehensive for Japanese people to understand the death affairs unreasonably without groundless rumors and a groundless assumption about this fact. So and Japanese people show their neg negative view, negative thought against the Japanese government and the Japanese government stance, political stance temporarily, 
but in their deep mind, they are already prepared to obey what the Japanese government do, what the Japanese government decide unconditionally. So we Japanese, we Japanese have no stance of do or die resistance against the Japanese government. How unreasonable, no matter how unreasonable policy is made, made and suggested by the Japanese government. So recently, we have an intensive controversy over the issue of the state funeral for the f former prime minister of Japan, Shinzo Abe, who was shot during his speech in Nara Prefecture. And the Japanese government one-sidedly decided to hold the state funeral for Shinzo Abe without asking people the reasonability of the state funeral, although Abe was suspected of, uh, suspected of involvement in a cult of uh, Toys Kyokai. So, and the scale of people's uh, objection against the state funeral for Shinzo Abe is as big as uh, cabinet support rate goes down less than half. So the total security cost, the total security cost for the uh, state funeral this time that is supposed to be taken by the Japanese government is said to be about 11 million US dollars, 11 million US dollars. So this, this much is used for the state funeral this time. And, but, but, the Japanese, but the Japanese government seemed to go ahead with this uh, state funeral in spite of people's strong objections. So in terms of the, this decision, the Japanese government didn't fulfill uh, accountability beforehand for how much it took for the state funeral bef before the decision. So uh, originally, we don't really know. We don't. We didn't really know how much it would it would cost for the state funeral. So the Japanese government is like the. So. If I just substitute the feeling, if I substitute the feeling of the Japanese government, it's like uh, please read the line. Please read between the lines. Please read between the lines, and it's like one of our fellows as uh, the former prime minister of Japan who have ever dedicated himself to the national administration for a long time for his life, passed away. So we want, we want to praise, we want to praise his achievements this time in the form of state funeral. So you should understand and pray, his, pray that his soul you know, may rest in peace or something like that. So considering the relationship, so considering the relationship between the Japanese government and Japanese people, uh, democracy doesn't match with the Japanese people's mentality, I think. So rather it is really easy for Japanese people to live under the you know, protection of a strong dictator with strong uh, leadership. The Japanese people mindsets that making rule and managing rule are a job for authorities. Is, is that proof that Japanese people largely depend on the, on the powers in the government? So uh, countries, I think the countries in East, Asia, East Asian a area especially have a strong tendency that people look the government as absolute power that they must obey no matter how many times they superficially get angry about how the authority does and complain about it. So I think, so I think, um, you know, the countries in East, East Asian have a tendency to, tendency not too much with the democracy. <laughs> I think there must be absolute racial physical. Uh, ra I think there must be a absolute. There must be absolutely racial psychological tendency, country by country, that largely influences the uh, country's political stance and political management. So uh, even though the country installs a 
you know, certain political ideology. No matter how this uh, political ideology is supported by a majority of people in the world.